In this video, I'm taking the other half of a slab that I used for my mantle in my house to make a patio bar top. I'll link the mantle video down in the description for you to watch after this one in case you missed it. First thing I need to do here on this particular slab is to square off the ends. Uh, the back side of the slab has some voids where it was struck by lightning. So I need to fill that area with some epoxy. So I'm using Total Boat High Performance Epoxy Resin and Slow Hardener. Uh, and I also mix in some black pigment. And so that's what I'm using for the job. Now, this particular epoxy is easy to use uh, with the color-coded pump system. Like, this is my first epoxy project, so I had no problem whatsoever uh, mixing this up and using it. It was really, really easy. So it's just one pump epoxy, one pump hardener. So I didn't have to think about the mixture. It's just all done for me. Now, the mold that you saw me putting on this slab, I went back and taped the insides of these boards so they wouldn't stick after the epoxy hardened uh, and after everything was molded together. So be sure you you do something like that on the inside of your molds so the epoxy doesn't stick. Now I've got that mixed and now I'm ready to pour and I gotta say this was a satisfying moment here just watching the epoxy fill in the cracks and just running down the edges like you see there. I really enjoyed this part. But one thing I should have paid more attention to were the bubbles that I, I was seeing in the low spot here where I was pouring the epoxy. I had a hole on one side of the slab and some of that epoxy was seeping out causing a pretty good puddle. And that's the reason why I'm adding more clamps here to try to stop the leaks. I only added screws to my mold on the bottom side of what, what's going to be the bottom side of this uh, patio bar. Uh, and on the other side, I didn't do anything but tape it real good and use clamps. So I was just hoping for the best here. Uh, so after I got through pouring everything, uh, I let this thing set up. I wanted to leave some of the wood exposed just to kind of give it that live edge feel. The backside wasn't going to be seen this much, but I wanted to give me a full, uh, even depth of the bar top all the way down. Uh, and with all the voids, if I hadn't have poured the, the epoxy, uh, it would have looked kind of funny. So... This is basically just squaring everything off for me and giving, giving me a full eight to nine inches all the way down the entire length of the bar top. And here you can see some of the leaks that I encountered. That is a hole in top uh, on the top side of that slab. And so it just kind of seeped through the holes and came out. But with the clamps on the other side, I was good to go. Let it set overnight. And now I'm fixing to take it apart and check it out. All right, well, moving on. While I'm cleaning up that mound of epoxy that seeped out, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Filter By. They are a family owned business and all filters are made in America and more specifically in small town Alabama, just down the road from where I am. Uh, but this is what it looks like. This is what the work looks like that goes into every filter made, which by the way, every order ships for free within 24 hours but instead of me telling you what all this is and what it looks like and who filter by is i thought i would just kind of show you and so you could see for yourself so whether that's a filter for your home or a custom filter size for your shop air filtration system give filter by a look there'll be a link down in the description After I cleaned up the slab and removed all of the little areas of epoxy that uh, was just puddled up and got it to where I was uh, satisfied, I noticed a crack on one end of the slab uh, that I thought would look cool with a, with a bow tie. And I had previously cut out some bow ties on my X-Carve from a piece of countertop made by, made by paper stone uh, that I used in my outdoor kitchen. I just had to cut it down to size uh, that I thought would look good in this area. So... I got my trim router out and routed out the area. Also used a mallet and chisel 
to clean things up and I had some leftover epoxy that I had just uh, mixed up so I went ahead and put some of that in the bottom of that cavity that I routed out for the bow tie and so once I got that in there I slid the bow tie in place pushed it down to where it was nice and snug and I also added some epoxy in, in that crack and also around the bow tie and believe it or not the epoxy and the bow tie the color matched exactly okay so the area that I'm mounting this is gonna be on top of this fence and I've got to remove the tops of these fence panels uh, to be able to mount this patio bar top this all makes sense here in a little bit but I need to make a couple of supports or corbels if you will uh, to go under the the bar top uh, just kind of give it some extra support and a little bit of a uh, decorative feel uh, so I just came up with a shape cut it out on the bandsaw I'm taking my drill here with a forstner bit uh, I'm just making some some holes here for the screws to recess into and then I'll take a drill bit with a countersink to pre-drill some holes uh, for the screws to be able to go into uh, this being basically in grain I don't want to split anything so but there you can kind of see what I'm going for this should make it easier in the mounting process okay so here you can get a better idea of how this is gonna work I've got the supports there on the front of the fence and I've got an extra 2x4 on the back side that I've tied directly into the fence to beefing things up and just give it strength so it should be nice and sturdy now when it was time to add finish to the slab man the epoxy the bow tie the character and the wood it just all popped and just really came alive so i couldn't be happier with the way that turned out so when it came time to mount this i didn't have any problem securing this uh slab or, or patio bar top as it is now uh, to this fence I had the supports there with the pre-drilled holes and so I could just secure that uh, slab with a couple of screws on each support uh, and then on the back side I had that extra 2x4 that you saw and I've got pre-drilled holes there so I can install screws from the bottom side up into the slab to hold things in place where it's nice and secure so this thing's not going anywhere um, very happy with the way it turned out. So yeah, super excited about this project. So as you can see, I've got a fire pit right there in the backyard. Uh, this patio bar area is going to be the perfect place to set all of our s'mores ingredients when we've got a fire going in the fire pit. Or just a place to chill to watch the kids in the backyard. So if you're not a subscriber here, please go ahead and subscribe uh, so you can catch all of our future videos. Check out the website article if you're interested in learning more about this project where I go more into details on everything. And as always, thank you for watching.